Hello and welcome to A Open at Legacy Atlanta. We are back in a car I have not been in in a very long time. The cup car. And well, I've got to uh, remember how it runs a little bit, and I never really had a great idea to begin with. Such a strange thing to drive. But uh, I've been meaning to get back to it, and Legacy Atlanta seems like a pretty good place to give it a try. I always enjoy Atlanta. And uh, it's been such a rough week for me this week. Just constantly making mistakes or uh, having people destroy me, both on and off camera. I've just been having terrible races, and so many things are at tracks that are just absolute death pits. <laughs> like, we got both the 87s and the Arca at Talladega, and then you've got the trucks at Eldora, and everybody wants to run those, so it feels like these other ones are ghost towns during the times that I'm able to actually run most of the time. So it's disappointing. But got a small single split here in uh, A Open. I have uh, no idea what to expect, really. Seems like maybe High Line. And then low line. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing in this car. Just so you know, I'm probably gonna hit this wall. Whoa! One more <laughs> Got close. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna be slow, probably. I just I don't know how to drive this thing. So it's probably not gonna be very good, but oh well. I'll give it my best. Maybe get some practice in. Kind of remember how this thing works. But I uh, would much prefer to do this than Talladega. So, here I am, I guess. It's not going to be better. Last one was a 39. And that was uh, a <laughs> 1 1,000th one slow. That's funny. At least I'm consistently slow, I guess. Although it's actually kind of looking okay I, right now. We just lost the pole, <laughs> but I didn't expect to keep it. Now we're starting to drop. That's what I was expecting. But, uh, I was not expecting to not be at the rear. I guess maybe we're on our way, huh? Watch your speed limit in the pits. Should be interesting. I just got the OSR set up on this thing. Which, again, I kind of had to find a weird way to like, find it. Because it wasn't on the normal uh, menu screen. It seems like the, a couple of tracks that are like that. Okay, now we're dropping back. Maybe there's like some way you want to like go slower the first lap and then go fast the second lap. Maybe that's what people are doing. I don't know. I did watch part of Gavin's race. I haven't finished it yet. I was kind of in the middle of watching it and then it was time for me to do this, but it looked like tire wear wasn't too huge. At least in the first part of the race, it looked like uh, whenever he first changed the tires, they were still in the 90s. So much less fall off than you might expect at Atlanta. Not that I would even know how to save tires in this thing. But... Um, we've got 15 people. The lowest is uh, 1.4, though. That's not that low. So, oh wait, no, we got a 16. 1.2, still not that low. So we could legitimately finish last, probably. And then we've got the uh, Pro Driver, I guess. This is the W or whatever. Up in second there. And then I am the number two, so. Uh, we'll see what happens, I guess. That person's about to lose connection, it looks like. There they go. We're going to be waiting the full 50 seconds, which I think we were going to have to do anyway, because there's lots of people that have or that are not ready. But I guess I'll just try to finish top half of the field. That would probably be a win for me, since, again, haven't been in this car in forever. And they've changed 
a good bit about this car over time. And I never really did too many open races anyway. So like maybe two of them, two other ones, if I remember. So lots of, uh, it's gonna be lots of surprises, I'm sure. With how this thing drives, I don't know if it's gonna get loose or whatever. I know this thing's really hard to catch if it gets loose. I'm a little nervous about that. P6. I don't particularly enjoy it. Maybe I'll get used to it and enjoy it some more, but it's just so numb. I have to bump my force feedback way up just to feel anything in the wheel. And it just, it doesn't drive like how I would expect, I guess. I don't, I don't want to complain a bunch, though. I'm going to try to be open-minded, just try to have a good race. 100 laps, so pretty decently long vent. Assuming you have the tire pressures there, that's not usually there in other series, is it? I don't think so. But see, like my force feedback is usually 6.8. I bumped it all the way up to 10.3, and even that's kind of numb ish for me. Hard to even tell what the car is wanting to do. So I'm just going to drive it how I think I want, how, how I think it wants to be driven how you would expect it to be. So, you know, easy in, good exits. That's what you would think a race car would want to do, right? So that's what I'm going to try to do, even though it's not really giving me much feedback. Just kind of feels tight all the time. I don't know. It doesn't feel like it yaws out or anything which is what I enjoy, which is fun to me, like in the Arca car, like getting on the throttle and like kind of getting sideways a little bit and counter steering. I don't really feel any of that. It kind of just is driving. It just goes around the track. What's up, I don't Jason? know. It's hard to describe any better than that. What's up, Brian? What you doing, buddy? <clears throat> Same thing we do every night. Try to take over the world. Pinky and the brain references going on. There are three. Just checking the fuel. Looks like we uh, I've been called brain. Like, get there just enough for halfway. Hopefully it will go green. I did practice green flag pit stops. Got in the got in there well enough. I changed the dash a while back to the page three that looks like a more traditional screen. This makes more sense to me. More familiar. You can do that here. There's like the different pages you could do. This is the default. This one's pretty good. Actually, you know what? Maybe I'll do this one. I changed this like a year ago. I kind of like this one, though, because you can more easily see, like, the oil temps and stuff. Yeah, I like that one, actually. I'm glad I went through these. Okay, we'll do that, then. Looks like a second gear start. Seems like it might get a little bit weird, a little bit wobbly on throttle, getting up to speed, so I'm going to have to watch that. Oh, why uh, he was so far back? He's trying to bunch up the field behind him or something. I don't know. Wow, the inside row had an absolutely atrocious start back there. That's what that's about. We are clear. Okay, this guy's way off base or something. I don't know what that was. I don't know. He's probably doing something right, and I'm probably doing something wrong. More likely than not. Got some arrow push, feels like. A little tighter than I was used to feeling in practice. Making up. Man, this thing feels strange, though. It's definitely not used to this. I'm gonna go for a pass. Outside. Don't 
go low. The next car's the leader. Clear outside. All right. It, it just feels so uncomfortable trying to do anything. Because I, I feel like I wouldn't know if the car started getting sideways. It, just, it gives me no feedback. I'm probably driving too hard. I probably need the same tires. That's why I'm going a little faster than the guys around me. Maybe I need to back it down. I don't feel like I am. It doesn't feel like the car is really pushing. Going back to the hole, it doesn't feel like anything. Scenario. I guess we will go around the one. So we got a huge run. Go low. The car ahead has just done a 31.5. The guy behind has just done a there. Hold your line. Outside, clear. All right, well, I guess we're up to third. Not using any brake, if I should be or not, but I'm not. I'm gonna bump my force feed back up even more, because it's just, I need something. I need to feel something. This was always a problem with this car for me, even like a year ago. Just emptiness. I must be overdriving, I guess. There's no reason I should be pulling away from the guys behind like that. I, I just, I don't... I'm going as slow as I feel like I can be without being ridiculous, though. I don't feel like I'm pushing it at all. Lifting off well early, staying off the throttle, getting on the throttle gently, partway through the quarter. Feels fine. So, I don't know, man. I'll be learning a lot, I'm sure, about how this thing wants to evolve over time. Pass for the lead going on up there, it looks like. He's not going to make it, though, and he's going to lose all his momentum. Outside. I guess we'll go to the inside. That's where I want to be down here anyway, I guess. It's going to hold on. Hold on tight. I want to be at the bottom anyway. Alright, he's going to push hard to make sure he keeps it. That's whatever. wasn't going to overdrive the thing trying to pass him. Just wanted to see if I could get it done since I had such a huge run on him at the one point. Run on him at the one point. Again. And this 11's coming up fast. <sighs> Jesus. I'm going to lift off for the 7. pass here. Make sure I'm not getting on the inside of this guy here. So I want to drift up to the wall. So it still feels the same to me so far. I obviously only 10 laps in, but Okay, he's fighting hard for the lead. Car inside. Clear inside. I feel like I'm still just barely pushing it at all.
Hmm. You're a little pushy there. Might have gotten on the throttle just a bit early. You just done uh, that's one point seven. Kind of waiting for these guys to sort this out, because they've been doing this side-by-side -side dance repeatedly. Outside of them. I wonder if that's the place to pass. That sure looked like it there. Maybe you want to pass on the outside. How the hell's move? Okay, you're in second. Fortunately, there's all kind of slow motion. Ooh. Okay, that got loose. Did not expect that. See, that's what I'm saying, man. I feel like I'm never going to be able to anticipate when stuff is going to happen with this car. Like, there was no warning for that. It just happened. All of a sudden, I was pointing slightly to the left. <laughs> so I guess I'll have to be more careful on exit now. Just assume that it's uh, potentially going to snap on me. And it still feels tight on entry and center. Maybe it's a how much I'm turning my wheel thing. I've got loose. That just seems to be how the car is evolving over time in general. It's very interesting. Okay, that's kind of fun. I mean, I don't really feel it yawing out or anything. I just feel it kind of about to snap on exit, but at least that's kind of like a loose race car. It mimics the concept. <laughs> I'm okay with that. And P2. See how long that lasts, but pretty neat. Didn't expect to be running up here. By any means. Mm, pushing really bad. I don't know why he's going all the way up to the wall like that. The fire. Well, get out of it, dude. You burn up all your tires. Don't, don't take someone out with you. Huh. So here comes the one. So it does look like the tires are uh, becoming a factor. I, just, I don't know how I'm supposed to save tires if I can't feel the car reacting to anything. Like, I can't really feel if the car is binding up, so I don't know, like, if I'm overdriving in that case. I, I mean, I didn't feel like I was overdriving. It felt like I was underdriving, if anything. So it's just strange. I'll just have to get used to it if I'm going to run this car more.
But I feel like uh, even if I just kind of drive the way I am, even if I end up burning my tires off, I feel like we'll still be in somewhat good, somewhat of a good position by the time we get to like lap 50 maybe. We can pit, get our tires, do it again. Maybe that'll uh, be a nice finish. That's all I can really hope for. That was a 32.9. Okay, he's slowing down a whole lot for this quarter. Oh yeah, he's really backing it down all of a sudden. Outside, clear high. Outside, clear outside if you want to. He's gonna fight for it. I... Whoa. Okay. I'm gonna get loose then. The one on by. This seven probably has better tires as well. Man, this thing's getting harder to control. Probably not a bad idea to watch what the one's up to. Because you were riding the high part of the car and overdriving it. Hmm. Wonder if I'm going to be undrivable here before too long. Alright, I think the guy behind us had a moment, now they're three wide. That could be interesting. Slowing each other down, that's good for me since I feel like I'm heading backwards in general. definitely a little edgier now, but it's not unmanageable. It could get that way, because it's definitely heading in a worse and worse direction, but right now it's not unmanageable. I can kind of feel the car just slightly when it starts getting sideways-ish, and I can visually see it too, which helps. P3. Your lap times are improving. This is exactly and I, I can kind of get out ahead of it and start counter-steering when I need to. Leaders having a lot of issues. I probably look that same way as well, though. It's a car rejoining in front. That was a thirty-three point two. Got tight there on entry through the middle. Didn't get quite as low as I wanted to. Try to fix that this time. Hmm. I mean, I'm kind of like keeping up with a pro driver after getting in this car 
for the first time in like a year. So I can't really feel too bad about that, right? I mean, until I spin, but still for now, like, can't feel too bad about that, right? I don't know, maybe I'm coping right now. End of the day, I'm still third. That's pretty darn cool. Really tight in three and four now, though. It's not helping matters. I'm sure we'll lose some spots before it's uh, time to pit. Ooh, five real loose. middle line get a big run on here outside go low clear oh that's not happening little line is not happening apparently outside clear outside outside go low Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Clear outside. Just gonna get back up top. And if I try to pass again, it's gonna have to be on the high side, I see. Five kind of going for the high line. There might be something there. I don't know if I want to try that right now, though. Not feeling that adventurous. This whole uh, race is an adventure for me already. If I were to do the high side, though, it'd definitely only be one and two. Usually that's how Atlanta seems to work. It's one and two has got a high line option, but three and four not so much because of uh, how bumpy it gets. But who knows how this thing handles this stuff. Oh no, Jason. Yeah, I got me. Uh oh, someone must have self spun maybe? Stand low. Stand low. Stand low. Stand low. It's a high line guy. I just love uh, contradicting myself, don't I? Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do it. And then like a lap later. It was okay. It pretty much evened out by the end of the straightaway. Even if I did it a slightly bit better, it would probably be just about equal. That's it. I have no idea what the tires are trying to tell me right now. I don't know if I'm on the right front or the right rear. No clue. So, no, I can't even say, like, oh, well, it feels like I'm on the right rear, so maybe I'll try to get on the right front more by running the high line. Like, I don't know. No idea. The six after passing us, after having seemed to save tires better, now is on the other side of the coin. Oh, God, where am I going? Never turn. Outside. P4. Still there. 33.8. Clear. Freaking frame rate's the going to outside. zero, too. That's not nice. Still there. Hold your line. Keep low. Why is this lap car even here? Still there. Clear up the top. That's annoying. Just wasted a bunch of my time. Inside. Still there, hold your line. 
I got tight one time and now I'm being swamped. Man, for a second it felt like I was catching six, then it got tight, and then I lost two spots. Didn't help that the 16 was there to pin me on the bottom when I didn't want to be, but... Not great, regardless. Okay. Tar's not happy. Eight car coming up, put me back even further. This thing's not turning. What is happening? This thing's so freaking stupid. It doesn't feel like it's binding up. Like, it doesn't feel like it's getting tight. It just stops turning. Okay, it's not the car. It's me. It's me for not being able to identify the size. The car's just much different than stuff I'm used to. And so it's not the car's fault. It's my fault for not being able to identify the different feelings. So let me be clear on that. I'm just frustrated. <laughs> it's trying to read a foreign language here. Well, we will be pitting at, uh, I guess, about 50 or so, I guess. I don't Side by side up ahead. I've been side by side for a minute. Four looks like he just got loose on the tri oval or the quad oval. Okay, I'm not turning again. You know what it is? What the? All right. That was cool. Six slices. Just gotta be patient on the throttle. Trying different things and they aren't working exactly how I, you know, would want them to. Seems like you just gotta be real smooth with your inputs. Generally, a good thing in every car, but this one it seems really especially important. E4 is up into six. Take it back. back. Ugh, turn. Freaking car. It's so tight in the center of the corner. There's a little tiny bit of brake on entry now. Just to get this thing slowed down a little more, hopefully. Almost time to pay it, I think. That lap was at thirty three point eight. Yeah. 
Well, that was a little bit better of a lap despite getting loose out of four. Kind of trying some different things with the brakes. Getting a little extra turn in mid corner using just a tiny bit. To help slow the thing down. We got some people heading in. Okay, zooming. Your last lap time was at thirty three point seven. Hmm. Pitting in here, pitting in. Hopefully they heard that. Outside. I'm coming in. Clear high. Mid lane speed limit is 50 miles per hour. Okay. Oh, I cut that close. Pit boxing 10. Wow. I even knew the brakes are notoriously not very good in this car, and I still almost overcooked it. Three, two, one. All right, Colton. We're right here. Point. We estimate 14. Golly. Brakes are so bad. 41.55. All right, I'm on the right front, apparently. Sure feels pretty darn loose for being on the right front, but here we are. Okay, go. A car behind. Take care, rejoin him. Careful on throttle here. It will get unsettled if I'm not careful. Don't want another brickyard situation here. God, that was so bad. Okay. Back to it then. See how this cycles out. Oh no, that guy was ahead of us, wasn't he? I think uh, he might have gotten himself a penalty or something on entry. And just uh, gave up. Okay, we'll be the lucky dog. That's unfortunate for him. Good for us, I guess. Seven has declared the low side, and instead is going to the middle. Okay. Five has missed the pits. That is not good for him. But again, good for us. We've got some people having some green flag pit stop issues. I'm going to go a little softer this time. In general. This last time I was clearly moving backward. I'm going to try to learn from my last run a little bit. Maybe we will be outside of any arrow push as well now and uh, can possibly avoid getting as tight nose quickest on track at the moment that's very interesting okay, we got two wide up ahead that's making big games thank you thank you I didn't want to have to do that. <laughs> they made me do it. We're matching race pace, E5. Hmm. So the leader's just now pitting. That's interesting. We are theor theoretically on the optimal pit strategy, directly in the, hat, in the middle. Obviously, my driving's far from optimal, so that can only take me so far. But I feel like we had a good stop. I definitely entered pretty darn hard. Almost too hard. Very, very close to being too hard. So we might uh, have been able to gain a little bit, potentially. Got to make sure I get through traffic pretty well. 
Backing okay. That was P2 behind us, and uh, he has not pit yet. Huh. I think I had a really good pit stop. Of course, it'll lead a minute, right? Yeah, like the guy uh, in fourth there, he pit a whole five laps later. Okay, you are the leader. The, way. the gap behind is now 2.7. Car outside. Outside, clear. Okay, running right in the middle of the track. But if he's going to leave uh, room on the low side, I'm going to take the best line. Thank you, Brian. I think I'm feeling okay. So I do think I'll be able to save a little bit better the second half of the race. With a little bit more experience in how this thing will change. We'll see though. New fastest lap for Ranger, 31.2. Oh, hey, we let a lap. That's pretty darn cool. Alright. Really doing much better than I thought I would. For a single split race, too. I mean, 2.5k, that's not bad, really. Like I kind of like showed at the start, like even the highest car number in here was still in the thousands, so we didn't have like any 200 I rating guys. And of course we got the pro driver in here. Well, I'm sure will come find me for too long. But I'm pretty happy with this. Doing much better than I expected. We'll see if we can pull off a top five, but if not, still just finishing top half of the field would be great. Starting to get a little loose on exit. Got to be aware of that. Got to be ready. Take it on the other side. Car outside. Clear. Thank you. Yeah, sir. We still got seven seconds back to second place, though. That's pretty interesting. That's a lot to make up. Go ahead. But still, uh, no. No wrecking. Come on, let me at least have this bit of time and lead. I think we're okay. No yellow. Take it in time. P2 is catching pretty fast. Should probably get here by lap 80, if not sooner. Yeah, yeah. Just a quick approximation. Outside. Clear. Some laps led, though. Some bonus points, am I right? Probably still overdriving the tires, but um, hopefully not as much as last time. Lots of people lapsed down. They must have had a, some serious trouble with pits or something. Like, we did see the one person have to quit. Because I assume they had pit issues. And then the other guy we saw miss his pits. 
missed the turn into the pits. Really glad I was able to avoid having any issues there. I'm getting some nice pull with draft from the 13 here. He's got much, much fresher tires and he's kind of helping pull us along, which is very nice. It's a nice thing to have. Almost like the wall on entry. Yeah, no, I never run these cars. I'm clearly I am out in fire. I thought that was going to be me, to be honest. I thought I was going to be the one going laps down. It still feels the same for now. Long way to go. Waiting to see uh, the number 11 back there get replaced by P2. I'm sure we're going to see that and then realize how close he's gotten. Oh, there it is. Four and a half. Yeah, he's definitely going to catch us. I'm surprised it's not the number one. I wonder if the number one had problems. Or if uh, they just pit much much later. And I catch up real fast. I had a loose moment right there. Partly because I was looking at the blinking car instead of focusing. But also, tires are still are getting a little older. I have to be ready for the changes. 30 to go. That was Unfortunately, we lose our draft partner. <laughs> hey, maybe we got another one up there. We can catch. I guess that kind of defeats the point if you're catching the person that you're getting draft from, right? Because they have to be faster than you for you to gain anything from it. <laughs> so, uh, that's probably not really gonna happen, but... Don't you spin on me! That would be embarrassing. But also not very surprising. Sure, I'm gentle on exits. That last lock was at 32.7. Okay. The car behind is catching. The gap's now 3.7. The car behind is catching, yeah, we know. We know. All right, easy now. I'm definitely losing some pace yeah, yeah, at this yeah, point. Maybe that number one is still coming up back there. Is he back there? I don't see him. I'm thinking maybe they'll start fighting back there or something before they reach me. That'd be interesting. Very loose race car. I would very be very upset if this lap car starts trying to pass me. Okay, 
looks like he's backing off. I thought for a second he was going to dive it in or something. Oh, he's caught so much. That three. Car outside. Still there. <sighs> Clear high. Is that necessary? What was that? Just wish that hadn't happened. That's all. There goes two, three, four tenths right there. I mean, he's going to catch us anyway. But, I mean, I don't want to continue falling back either. He's off to go catch ninth place, wherever the heck that is. Hopefully not lose too much time. We got two seconds until P3. The next car is the lead up was 20 to go. Can I hold on to P2? Thank you. Yeah, man. No worries. I have another lap car trying to pass for no reason. He's not even on the same lap as anyone around him. Same as the 10. Like, I understand if you're much faster on faster tires. Do you have to ruin the exit of my corner to do it? If you're that much faster, set up a pass and do it on the straightaway. I just don't understand why you have to ruin the exit of my corner as the leader. Yeah, I was never going to be the leader at the end of the race, but I was the leader at the time. It's just so disrespectful. And here he goes. He's going to dive it in. Car inside. Idiots. Still there, inside. <sighs> Clear. No one knows how to set up a pass. Go high. Enter high. Get a run off. And then we can negotiate that. <laughs> I don't know. Old man yells at cloud, I guess. Sorry. So it'll be the old man yelling at the cloud. <sighs> We're going to lose P2 to P3. The one did have an issue, I think, because there he is, a lap down. Or more. So that's interesting. Lots of people having trouble. It pit stops. I 
I just hope that these lap cars hold him up just like they did to me. It's only fair, right? So they're gonna be that way. At least do it to him, too. It's not like it's gonna matter, but... If they roll out the red carpet for him, I'm gonna be a little irritated. That was a 33.3. He just lets him by. Oh, very good. Cool. Fourteen to go. We definitely aren't going to be able to hold on to this, but Outside. God, he about killed me. Clear. I answered harder than I did last lap. Inside. Just dive it in. Still there. <sighs> I wasn't even going to fight it off until he tried to pass that way. Not there. And then he get there he goes. Keep high. Still there, hold your line. Tight. I'm assuming that's what that was. Freaking annoying, man. Unless it just got randomly tight on its own. Felt like arrow tight though, because I was right behind him. Dirty air. But whatever it was, had to lift off huge. I was gonna hit the wall. Great job, get to go. I don't see P4 anywhere though. Inside. Clear inside. Oh, there he is. Six seconds back. We should be able to hold on to that. The gap in front is now 0.8. You've just done a 33.7. Try the high side. That's pretty good. I'm going to maybe try that again next lap, see if uh, I still like it. Not going to do it 3 and 4, though. This never seems like a good idea here. feel pretty comfortable that we'll be able to keep on uh, P3, though. I 
I might be able to do that a little bit faster than running the low line if I hit it right. Do uh, the low line one last time. Uh, and for one and two, see if it is any better compared to last lap. But move back to the high line. So, what, what, how does it compare? Let's see. Super loose, that's for sure. You don't get the runoff. That was still equal with the loose, though. So if I don't get loose, maybe it is better down there. I don't know. This may not be important now, but it could be important in the future. Learning how this car drives. Again. Even though I, I don't know if it counts. I don't know if I've ever, ever did learn. The one's got to pass for no reason, of course. I'm going to go catch 7th place wherever that is. Several laps ahead, I guess. Who exactly are you catching? Guy's never been a lap down in his life, I bet. Looky there, you gotta run this time. Stay low, there is a car on the high side. Stay low, there is a car on the high side. Clear high. There, you see, you can do it without dive bombing me. He's the pro, I'm not, so. I guess that's just the way to do it. It's definitely falling apart. That's okay. Only about three to go here once we get to the line. They're even fighting behind me over uh, five seconds back, so... At least it looked like they were. About two tenths apart. So P3, that'd be pretty awesome in my return to the cup car. That was a 33.8. Spin. Just lost a ton of time doing that. Two left to go. Two to go. Still not faster than him though, so it doesn't matter. Two laps left. We're on for a podium here. Sorry, Tori, didn't mean to cut it that tight. I was just trying to get my uh, lap back there. Get your lap back. Why? No, Why? No, you're good, man. <laughs> Why would he need to get his lap back? Why? I was not. I was trying to learn something from the One more lap to go. Uh, I'm, so, I'm just a grump, I guess. I don't know why he needed to go slow. I'll okay, use the four of picks. It's like he was off pace there for a second, didn't it? Oh, I didn't help. I was running a virtual setup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good one, sir. Thanks, good race. He actually got pretty close to the four here at the end. Good race, good win. Great drive. That's a podium. That's a podium. All right, the chicken flag. All right, P3. Good race, guys. Good job. Very good job. Oh. That went so much better than I thought it would. Uh, lots of pit troubles. That was actually a good learning experience for me. Wouldn't have been too bad if I had a good retire for 20 laps and then did a minute and a half worth of damage in the very beginning. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, I ended up only finishing like. Three laps, three laps down. down. I'm pretty I'm happy, happy with that. All, all things considered, I'm in fits for two minutes. 
Yeah, yeah, man. 53, 57. That was a learning experience for me, too. This is the first time I've gotten back in this car in about a year and a half. All right, so P3, we move ahead three spots. I mean, that's all just not having a mistake during the pits, though, because I remember the five missed pit entry, the one must have had pit troubles, the six must have because he left right after pit stops. And that's like three people that are ahead of me right there. The seven, I don't know what must have happened. He was ahead of me, too, though. Something must have gone on. Very interesting. We'll see what happened out here, but it was a very clean race. Oh, that's what happened to the 11 on the inside. I didn't see that. Yeah, it got some tire spin, it looks like, and then nearly got it in the grass. Actually, pretty lucky that wasn't worse for him, once you get those wheels in the grass like that. 16 getting loose. Oh, and then gassing it up. Loose on him again. We were caution free, weren't we? I believe so. Ooh, having a lot of trouble on the straightaways, even. Probably just uh, maybe a little more power in these cars. Getting it a little unsettled. I don't know. Or maybe just left over from the exit of the corner. 11 also having some issues. Already to lap 35, though. We got the 14 getting loose. He's going to take a journey. He's going to hit any ramps. Sometimes there's hidden little ramps in these. Whoa, yeah, there's one. Wee. There's a pretty good one here, too. Oof. He's going slow enough, though. What did I do? I am doing nothing. I've been framed. 12... I think people are probably just getting worn tires at this point, right around the pit stop time. Five, uh, I don't know if this is, bef this must have been uh, before he misses his pit entry. Does the seven have an issue on entry? It's fine to me. Maybe he slides past his box. Because, again, he was ahead of me, I thought. Oh, he's crawling to his spot. He lost a ton of time doing that. He must have mistaken someone else's pit stop or something. So look how slow he's, like, crawling to the spot. Interesting. That had to have lost him a good bit of time. And then the five. Is this him missing pit road, or is this him uh, successfully getting pit road? Successfully. So it was the lap before he must have missed it. Routine. Ooh, pretty good. Pretty good job saving it from being any worse than that. Just a little bit of door damage. It's just going to blink. A bit of wall on exit there. 12's got the same car almost. Nothing really going on here. And that was the end of the race, so very clean, especially for a single split. Uh, we beat a pro driver, I guess, um, just because of pit stops, of course. Uh, what happened to him? Let me see. Because he's in first. Oh, that's an unsafe pit entry. That's what happened to him. He hit that cone right there. Just barely. He's trying to get it slowed down. Just barely touches it, and that's all it takes. So that's what happened to him. And we saw the five, seven, really slow to his box. I don't know if that's what caused him to be far back, but... I guess I'm pretty darn happy about how my pit stop went. Let's take a look at that, I guess. So that might have been like the move of the race for me. Just getting on pit road well enough. 
I probably just don't know any better and took some risks I didn't even know I was taking when slowing down. Of course, there was the fact I almost sped. Just barely get it, get it under the limit there. I mean, I, it kind of looked like I was about to do what the one did and clip the cone because I got a little close to that too, but I locked it down. And thankfully, I'm just barely. It's probably about as close as you can cut it, but got away with it. And so we get a P3. And uh, that'll do it for this one. My return to the Cup Series went pretty well. An A open here. Uh, wasn't so bad. Still, this car is a head scratcher for me, but we uh, somehow found a way to get ourselves on the podium. So that'll do it for this one. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.